When you write a credit policy, you write a collections policy. You write them together. So anything that you do from a credit policy affects your collections and vice versa. Your credit policy is affected by your company's business decisions. So they might sometimes as a company say, you know what, we're willing right now to take on a little bit more risk. So if we're taking on more risk and we're taking on customers that we're not so sure about, then we have to be tighter on our collections. But if we say, listen, it's tight, we're not taking on any risk, we're gonna be very stringent on how we give out credit. Well, then we know as a collector, well, these people are probably worth what we're giving them. So maybe we don't have to contact them as often. Maybe if there's a problem and they're not paying us, it's not because they can't pay us. It's there's an issue with how we bill them or something like that. So that's why it's got to be one policy. It is basically credit collections go hand in hand. It's Batman and Robin. It's peanut butter and jelly.